My fellow atheists, you are not going to believe what the religious folks have been up to this week. Uh, This week, the executive director of the Catholic Alliance International added a man named Larry Prowse to the organization's board. Uh, If you don't know who Prowse is, let me tell you a little bit about him. Um, He was a pretty big name on the Catholic lecture circuit, uh, having written a few popular books on God and morality. But in the past decade, uh, several women have come forward saying that he sexually harassed them. Uh, one of whom said that he even trapped her in a hotel room at a Catholic conference and waved a condom in her face. He was previously a lecturer at Boston College, but several female undergrads came forward saying that he was predatory towards them. The school had to actually ban him from the campus, at which point he transferred to Trinity Washington University. A few years after that, he resigned from Trinity after more women accused him of sexual assault while he was on a speaking tour in Australia. All of that would be bad enough. But in 2016, Prowse defended John Gagan, a Catholic priest who was convicted of raping more than 130 children and sentenced to 10 years in prison. Prowse said he didn't believe the victim's accusations, stating that he knew Gagan well and had never seen him uh, behave inappropriately with a child. Uh, I support a man whose character I believe I know, he told reporters. If you want to condemn me for that, so be it. I don't feel tarnished in any way by my relationship with John Gagan. I feel raised by it. So yeah, we have a guy who has been credibly accused of sexual impropriety by a dozen unrelated women over the course of many years, and who went on the record to defend a convicted pedophile. So why would Catholic Alliance International put him on their board? Well, the president of that organization argued that Prowse, quote, has been an active Catholic for decades, and he is a personal friend of the Pope. He went on to say that Prowse was an early victim of the woke movement and that he's never actually been charged with any crime. He railed against Prowse's predominantly female critics that are part of cancel culture. I mean, wow. Can you believe that? Like, how disgusting does the leader of a nonprofit need to be to continue to honor someone just because he's famous and he's friends with the Pope? when the guy is on the record defending a convicted pedophile and who women around the world have said is a sex pest. Can you even imagine being so close-minded and just blindly idolizing someone? And if you think all of this is bonkers, wait until you hear the best part. Uh, I actually screwed up a few of those details. This entire story happened, but it's actually about Atheist Alliance International, not the Catholics. And it's about Lawrence Krauss, not Larry Prowse, who doesn't exist. Uh, Lawrence Krauss was banned from the campus of Case Western due to complaints from students about his predatory behavior. Um, he then resigned from Arizona State University uh, after complaints that he sexually assaulted women. And he publicly and ferociously defended the convicted pedophile rapist, Jeffrey Epstein. Michael Sherlock is the executive director of Atheist Alliance International, and he really did say that Krauss is a victim of wokeism. Uh, Fun fact, if you Google Michael Sherlock, the first hit that I got was a statement from AAI shortly after he took over as leader in which uh, they have to condemn him for calling religion the R word on Twitter and then calling a woman some word that they deem to be completely unacceptable profanity. If you're an atheist who would be disgusted at a Catholic organization lionizing someone like Larry Prowse, please have the integrity to be equally disgusted at Atheist Alliance International uh, for doing the same to Lawrence Krauss. Um, This is why atheism as any kind of movement has, as of this time, ultimately failed Uh, They left the edgelords in charge, and now it's just a bunch of sex pests with no self-awareness sitting around calling religious people slurs and wondering why women don't come to their conferences anymore. Please be better.